Today we're going to show you all of the fantastic ways you can use the eyedropper tool in Photoshop. Hello and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're going to show you how to use the eyedropper tool in some surprising ways from creating multiple sample points to changing your average and even choosing colors from your image to change your background. So we're going to start off today by clicking here on the eyedropper tool. You can click here and as you can see the keyboard shortcut for the eyedropper tool is the letter I and then we also have a color sample tool we're going to talk about as well. So the eyedropper tool Basically, what you can do is click throughout your image and it's going to change your foreground color. So you can click around and you can see every time I click, I have a new foreground color. Now, we have a lot of options built into this image. So let's go ahead and take a look right up here where it says sample size. Now, if you choose a point sample, let's go ahead and zoom way into our photo. A point sample is gonna be like literally every pixel. So if I click here versus I click here versus I click here, it's going to be a slightly different color. So most of the time, what you're gonna to wanna to do is choose an average of a size. So you can click right up here where it says point sample and you can simply make this a little bit larger and it's going to average the area where you click and somewhere right about there looks pretty good. And as you can see, I'm moving my image, I'm moving my cursor right around, but my color is changing a little bit more slowly because I'm actually averaging a larger size. Now, a really fantastic keyboard shortcut is that you can hold control and see all of these options. So if I hold control and click, I can now choose my sample size. It gets larger and larger as average. I can even copy this color as HTML or a hex code if I plan on putting this on the web. So let's go ahead and choose a nice large average like 51 by 51. Now we're gonna zoom out here. Let's go ahead and choose this green color from this palm. I really love that. Now what happens if I wanna choose a different color as my background color? So we're gonna simply click here and I'm choosing a green color as my foreground color. But if I hold option and click, this is now, as you can see, going to choose my background color. So simply clicking is going to choose your foreground color. In this case, it's a pink. If I hold option and click, this is going to be able to choose my background color. So we can do both of them with the eyedropper tool. Now there might be some cases when you want to track multiple different points throughout your image. If that's so, hold down shift. And when you hold down shift, you have a option here to click on each individual point. And as I click, I'm able to store different colors here in the info panel. So each one of these times that I click, it actually gives me the RGB value of wherever I click. Now I can hold control or command and move any of these points at any time. There we go, to keep track of all of these different colors throughout my image. Now, by doing this, I've actually opened up this tool, which is the color sample tool. There we go. And if you wanna clear all these options, all you have to do is go to your color sample tool here and go ahead and click clear all. There we go. Let's go ahead and close this out and this looks really good. So let's go ahead and show you how to replace your background with any color, even using averages from your image. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off here with our object selection tool. I love this tool because we now have, we now have the option for select subject and I can process this on the cloud, which is super detailed results. So let's go ahead and click on select subject. There we go. So where it's going to go ahead and select my subject, I'm gonna hold shift and select on our uh, little palm there. And then from here, what we're gonna do is click and add a layer mask. So we basically layer masked out my subject and the palm. Now we're gonna add an adjustment layer to create a background color. So we're gonna go up here to layer, down to new fill layer, and we're gonna go to solid color. There we go, hit okay. And you can just choose any color here and we're gonna put this right behind our subject. Now the cool thing here is, all I have to do is simply click here on this solid color and by default, I have now my color picker. And what I can do going through my image is, is I can still choose my sample size. Now this is a really great example of how sample size really affects your image. So let's go here, we're just gonna choose point sample and you can see every time I click on a slightly different point throughout this image, it really changes that background color. But a lot of the times you're gonna want a larger sample point so maybe you just get something that's a little bit more consistent. And if you choose a really nice large sample point, you're just gonna kinda get the average of a few different colors throughout your image and you're more likely to get something that actually suits your image and works really well with all your colors. 
There we go. I'm loving all these different options. I kind of like these like bright pink options right there. You can see it's really just taking a sample size from the hat, but it's also grabbing some of the pink. And as I move through my image, I get it automatically update to my new color. And there we go. We've completely replaced the background color with a new color by using the eyedropper tool. Now, a last little keyboard shortcut, if you're using the brush tool, let's say hit B for the brush tool. If you hold Alt or Option, it automatically changes to the eyedropper tool. So B for the brush tool and then hold Alt or Option, and then you can continue to go in and choose your different sample colors. Keep in mind, however, it will retain the option for your sample size. So if you need that to be smaller, you're gonna go into your eyedropper tool again by hitting I or going to your eyedropper, B for the brush tool, and then you can sample that color. There we go, there's your foreground color. And then of course I can click here and then go back and change my foreground color to that pink that's in our subject's hat, something like that, and we are looking fantastic. So you can see just how many options there are with the simple eyedropper tool in Photoshop. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give us a big thumbs up if you did, and let me know in a comment right down below what you'd like to learn next. And if you wanna get more advanced Photoshop knowledge, access to the last 15 years of our pro tutorials, check out Flurn Pro. We've got an exclusive discount for you. Follow the link right down below. Thanks again, I'll see you later. Bye everyone.